I want to say a few things about success. I believe the ultimate success for us as human beings is to have influence with God and influencing others towards discovering life in Jesus Christ. But let me just say there's many kinds of success. Success has many faces. Uh, when you've completed a, a qualification, that's success. When you do get that promotion at work, that's success. When you close that wonderful deal in your business, that's success. Uh, when you salvage a relationship that was uh, going haywire, that's success. Success has many faces. But spiritual and eternal success is really about you and God. And I have pondered this whole issue of having influence with God as one, one of the highest levels of success. So how do we have influence with God? Let's settle this just firstly, that we gain entrance to the presence of God by what Jesus has done for us. The fact that He laid down His life, it cost Him His very is his life blood, uh, but that gives us entrance to God. But what gives us continuous entry to Him and the fact that He gives attention to us and listens to us, I believe has got something to do with you and me loving God and being humble enough to obey. So I want to emphasize those two things. What causes for us to have influence with God? In other words, that God would listen to us. I believe it's when we love Him and when we obey Him because we're humble enough. Of course, what keeps us away from obedience is just our pride and, and that we focused on, on other things beside God. But those two things, remember, loving God and being humble enough to obey what He says, I believe calls for God to listen to us. In other words, that we can have influence with God. And as an example, I thought of Abraham, the father of faith, that that was in, in conversation with God about whole towns, Sodom and Gomorrah. And because of his intercession with God, God actually extended mercy uh, in that situation. Wow, what, what an influence Abraham had with God. So please know that I, I think that's one of the highest levels of success. Is when you know that you've got God's ear. And God doesn't listen necessarily just because we shout. Or we cry for help. I believe he does. But, but ultimately, real success is in knowing that God will listen to you because you come in faith and because you love him, because you obey him. But then if I may take it one step further, I believe also ultimate success is when we can influence others towards walking with Jesus, doing life with Jesus. And I, I believe with all of my heart that comes from our attitudes and our words and our acts of kindness. I believe that gives us influence with people which can point them towards Jesus. So the more we look like Jesus, speak like Jesus, act like Jesus towards others, the more we influence them to fall in love with Him and to actually want to do life with Him. And I think those two elements, having influence with God, knowing that, that God actually listens to your prayers and your requests, and secondly, knowing that you can, from your side, influence others to live like Jesus and live with Jesus. That, I believe, is the ultimate success in life. All the others, well done, but that is actually very special. So maybe I can encourage you and leave this with you. I've made my life mission the following. Actually, every day, to love and enjoy God. And add to that, that I want to touch everyone who crosses my path with the loveliness of Jesus. And I wonder if you can maybe consider making something like that your own. To say, my life mission is not firstly to have success here and success there. But it's actually just to every day love and enjoy God. Because He's come to have fellowship with you and live with you. And He wants you to live with Him. And then add to that, that you will purpose to touch everyone who comes across your path with the loveliness of Jesus. Enjoy real success. And remember, Emmanuel, God is with you. Have a wonderful day as you consider this. And please do share and like this so that others may also benefit from it.